This is major red alert news. They are getting us ready for a massive attack in a major U.S. city. And the head of one of the biggest cities in the world and the U.S. just came out. The mayor just came out and gave an emergency warning and said that there, is, there are going to be major attacks in this city and people need to be getting ready and they are on quote high alert high alert right now all right so this is something that everyone needs to be thinking about and getting prepared for right now and everyone should be pushing for peace everyone should be praying and pushing for peace right now all right let it be known that we want peace we do not want a massive global world war we do not want to be dragged into that because it's going to hit the homeland as well all right we can't just keep having these foreign wars with america funding them and sending billions of dollars and funding both sides of the war and causing all this chaos internationally we can't keep getting away with it it's going to come to the homeland there's going to be major attacks here and that's what the head of one of the biggest cities in the world and the u.s just said just gave a major warning and said they're on quote high alert so you need to be getting out of these major cities i've been telling you guys for months and months especially the past six months i've been hitting it hard that they are going to collapse the grid potentially in these cities and we could see major social unrest in these cities as well, All right? That's what we could be seeing very soon. And that's what the mayor is warning of as well, All right? So get, get yourself out of these major cities right now. Get yourself stocked up right now, all right? I'm in my RV. We are moving to a different location, all right? Because it's going to be winter soon. And we do not want to be in anywhere cold, all right? Because we do not want to be relying on propane, gas, any type of energy. We do not want to be relying on that for our heat this winter, all right? Things are getting serious and we could see big things happening, all right? And there's major developments in the U.S. as well. There's already big things going on. Just yesterday in San Francisco, California, somebody rammed a car into the Chinese consulate there and they had to take this person out because they were a major threat, right? They were very threatening in the situation, rammed their car, just ran it right through the doors into the consulate, right? There's big stuff going on and they have been leaving the doors wide open. They've been leaving the borders wide open and facilitating and giving these people housing, all right, they're giving these people stipends. They're giving them phones. They're getting more benefits than 99% of Americans have ever seen in their life. Even in the middle of all the stuff the past few years, people never got benefits like this or anything. All right, so this is unprecedented. No country in history has ever done this. No country in history has ever done this. Just think about this. And they're setting us up for a martial law scenario and then in the aftermath of that, we're going to see things like the Patriot Act times 100 on steroids, the Patriot Act on steroids. That's what we're going to see in the aftermath of it passed as legislation where everything needs to be tracked. Everyone's phone, everyone's Internet. There needs to be an Internet ID. There needs to be a grid ID. The resources are scarce. Nobody can be trusted. All right. The clampdown is coming. The banking clampdown is coming. All these things are coming very soon and you need to get in a secure location, an affordable location, somewhere where you can sustain yourself if you have to take a major hit because the economy is going to falter. All these things are coming very soon and everyone can feel it and the signs are just all over the wall. And now we have the head of NYC, the mayor of NYC just came out and gave an emergency warning saying that they are on high alert for attacks on New York City, all right? I told you guys for months that big stuff's coming to these major cities and especially the past month or two, 
I've been harping that they are allowing these people to come in for a reason. And we could see civil unrest and major problems, major disruptions in the cities. And they could declare martial law in these major cities. And the NYC mayor just came out and said that they are on, quote, high alert for, quote, lone wolf attacks. That's exactly what the NYC mayor just said and just warned of. And you guys need to be getting ready if you are in these major cities, especially if you are in NYC. This is why all these people are there. This is why they are living in the hotels. I've been saying this for months. This is why they're in the hotels. This is why they are funding them and giving them all this money. And this is why they have phones. And this is why they have little Vespa scooters and they have transportation and everything. All right. There's these ATV gangs that are taking over these cities all over America. Philly, this is happening. All right. NYC, this is happening. Chicago, this is happening. Right now in Chicago, there are massive protests and outrages from this community because they are shutting down this kids' community center, this kids' rec center where they play football and have all the sports and everything. And this is one of the main outlets for kids in this community in Chicago. They are shutting it down and taking it over and bringing in a bunch of military aged adult men, adult males to live in this facility now. So it's supposed to be a kids rec center. Now they're taking it over and letting these people live here. This is a setup. This is a setup and we do not want this. The American people do not want this. We've been saying no to this for years, but now we are on the edge of this World War III scenario. They really want to push us into this. They really want to drag America into the situation. And where do you think all these people are going to go after this war? If there's a major war in the Middle East, where do you think all the refugees and stuff are going to go? They're going to go into Europe and they're going to go into America as well. All right. So this is a major national security threat that we need to be thinking about. And this should be on everybody's radar and the head of NYC, the mayor, Eric Adams. He just came out and he said, we are on high alert for lone wolf attacks. That's a quote from Eric Adams just came out and said this. And the biggest city in the U.S., one of the biggest cities in the world population-wise, that's what they are saying now. I'm telling you guys, this is where they're going to do it. And these mega cities, this is what happened before. History repeats itself. And we could see a major event happen very soon in one of these mega cities. And you need to be getting out ASAP because they're going to clamp it down and in the aftermath, we could see Patriot Act-like laws passed that take over the internet, internet kill switches. We could see mass uh, reporting of people, mass removal of people, I mean, on the internet. Voices like this channel right here and all the other prepper channels and other news channels we could see mass removal we could see a internet switch overnight and where everything's different all right canada is already doing this right now where you have to register your podcast if you are in canada and anyone this is considered a podcast in canada this just me sitting here in my rv and talking here this is considered a podcast in Canada. So this would have to be registered and approved by the Canadian government. We are going to see very dystopian laws like this coming very soon and they're going to shut it down so they can have a lock on the narrative of what's coming next. All right. So you guys need to be getting prepared. You guys need to be signing up for my email list down there. Hum report. You can just put in your email and then I'll have your email so I can reach out to you anytime if anything ever happens. On Twitter as well, I'm always posting on Twitter. I always post stuff on there that I don't even post on YouTube. So 
go follow me on Twitter or X. It's called X now. Go follow me on there right now just in case stuff happens, all right? The closer we get to the situation, the more clampdowns we are going to see. And this happened in NYC as well, all right? A retirement center. It was like a community retirement center where older people could live. And there was a 95-year-old veteran living there. And they kicked everyone out for these people to live here. Why are they kicking out these NYC residents that have lived here for decades? This guy's 95 and they're kicking him out. And he was devastated in this interview. It's so sad. So sad. Why are they doing this to these people? Why don't they give this guy a free house and 2200 a month? That's something I would agree with. All right. If we're going to do this situation, at least give it to people that need it and deserve it like this and have paid their dues and have paid into the system their whole lives, social security, taxes, all this stuff. And then people are left with nothing. So, so many people are left with nothing. My dad, he's he's gone now. He's been gone for over a decade. And he was a veteran and he was treated terrible by the VA. Treated terrible by the VA. And he was on 100% disability from an injury in service. And it always took months and months to see a doctor through the VA. They would always try to not cover things. And it took him years to even get 100% disability all right they kept denying him and not wanting to give him a hundred percent only give him partial uh disability all right so why why do we take care of our veterans like this and our seniors and people that have paid into the system their whole lives and paid taxes and families that are struggling all right there's so many different people and we are just funding more war sending more money for war sending more money overseas for more weapons and more wars instead of peace, all right? Who is running this country? What is going on right now? And who is allowing all of this stuff to happen? Because this is huge, all right? NYC is giving this major warning. Chicago should be on high alert right now. Minnesota, Michigan should be on red alert right now as well. High alert because they have these communities these cells exist all over the country and they have been placed there and they have been funded and they have been organized and shipped and bussed all over our country to specific places for years now and this has been funded by our government and our tax money we are funding all of this stuff and then it is going to backfire on us. It's going to be used to declare martial law and take away all of our rights domestically. All right, that's why I'm saying you need to be pushing for peace. We do not want these escalations. We do not want the stuff to come to America. And it already is. All right, the trains were being shut down going into America. All right, the supply chains being shut down. All right, it's under attack. Look at all these fires and explosions that have hit all the critical infrastructure throughout the past year, six months or year. It's been absolutely insane. I remember a video I made a few months ago. There were three different factories. There was like a steel factory and a chocolate factory and some other factory. I can't remember the third one. In Ohio, right? Right outside of Cleveland, Ohio, there were three different explosions just in one week at one point. The oil refineries going offline in Louisiana, one of the biggest ones in the country, had a massive explosion going offline. All right. That was just last month. All these attacks and fires are hitting our country constantly. And I remember a few months ago, too, people were thinking, this is crazy when I was suggesting that. These, this was even before Hawaii or anything, all right? I was covering these fires and saying, there could be people in groups coming over here, starting these fires maliciously and intentionally. And there's even been intel 
reports that that's exactly what some of these people are doing. So this stuff's actually already probably been going on for a long time, okay? But it's been swept under the rug, pushed under the rug. Look, there was a there was an explosive device found on the train tracks in Philadelphia a couple months ago, all right? This stuff's real. This stuff's real. There are groups and they are trained and they are funded by the U.S. government and these black op groups within the U.S. government, these deep state groups, they train and fund and unleash them onto us, onto the public to cause chaos, to initiate their problem, reaction, solution scenario. This has been a known strategy that has been used in military for hundreds of years and we need to be on red alert we need to say no we don't want this and we also need to be preparing ourselves you need to be heavily protected heavily protected and have heavy arms to protect yourself okay that's what you need to have 100 percent to protect your family and protect your loved ones you need to have the necessary equipment to defend yourself defend your life legally and lawfully but if you are under threat you need to have the tools to defend yourself adequately all right and we know what that is in america every country is a little different all right they have different laws some places they don't have this luxury or this freedom okay but you need to be defending yourself and you need to have a stockpile of that as well because it could get real on american soil okay it could get real on american soil and you need to legally and lawfully be able to protect your family all right so please hit it up for me down there guys to get this video out to more people more mayors guaranteed all right i already saw a couple of police departments saying this like major county police departments um around the country saying they're on high alert some places in florida i saw that like around miami they're on high alert as well but guaranteed we're going to see more mayors of these major cities like la san fran okay denver all these places they are going to come out and say that we are under threat and we are on high alert and there could be attacks in their city, all right? And let's hope there isn't. That is not what we want because that could be this, the thing that actually sets off the lockdowns, all right? They are under nationwide shelter in place lockdown orders. You need to have food, water, everything overseas right now in Israel, all right? In Palestine right now, they are under no food no water no electricity no nothing is allowed to go complete blockades for the country right now as well okay so these things could happen in america and we need to be getting prepared for it and we need to be getting ready for it because once it happens in america too there's nobody coming to there's nobody to give military aid to america there's no the only one that's going to come in is like the UN or it's going to be a foreign adversary country that we do not want to come in. That's who's going to come into America. There's nobody to come save America. All right. And I've said this many times before in real emergency situations, the emergency services are worthless because they are overwhelmed and they are dealing with the emergency at hand. They're not going to be able to protect you individually and you really need to be able to defend yourself and defend and protect your family because in these emergencies they are going to be focused on what's going on they're not going to be able to just like go to your house go to your area and help you if you are hurt or you need to protect yourself or defend yourself you are going to be on your own if there's a major emergency all right so you need to be prepared you need to be ready for that you need to be ready mentally spiritually we need to be getting ready and we need to be pushing for peace and praying for peace. This stuff's real, guys. And I'm also really worried there could be major gas 
shortages and gas problems going into the future as well all right we could see international markets rock they're already going up and responding to this and we could see gas flows taken offline which could cause grid issues uh and rationing all hosts of different things cause everything to increase in price because of the supply chain all these different things are on the line as well right now all right so please hit it up for me down there please get your family prepared please get yourself out of these big cities as best as you can all right and if you are trapped in these places you just have to stay here get prepared as possible so you don't have to leave your your apartment or your house for weeks at a time be that prepared that you can just bug in stay there for weeks and have enough food and be able to defend yourself legally and lawfully on your own property all right that's probably your best case scenario if you can't move out of the city now all right so thank you guys so much all right i hope you have big blessings for your family all right we're gonna be all right just stay prepared stay focused don't be scared stay prepared all right this stuff we already know what's coming next so it's it's shocking to see it coming but it's not scary okay it's not scary we just need to be ready for it we already know we're ready all right you're ready we're ready and it's gonna be all right all right we're gonna get through this 90 percent of people are less prepared than you are right now all right and if you go get a few more bags of rice and you're able to protect yourself along those lines you're going to be prepared than 95 percent of people more prepared than 95 percent of people all right so just stay focused keep stocking up keep getting ready all right and i hope you have a big old blessed day